Well, I can honestly say I'm ready for winter to be done. Good morning, Deuce. Did you find a nice little spot right in the planter box, I guess? Good to see you. Hi. I think one of the things I struggle with the most around here is setting aside time to have some fun. Hey, Daisy. Feels like I'm constantly trying to think of what's the next project, what's the next thing that needs to get built. You know, what can we do to make something better? What the heck are they doing over there? What are you guys doing? Huh? Trying to get down to the pond? Hey Lucky, how's it going? Well, as much as you guys want to go forage around, I want to get some stuff done. Let's get this snow out of here. I did manage to have some fun recently. A little off farm fun. That doesn't happen too often. Van and I went uh, to the ice fishing tournament up at uh, my mother and father-in-law's house. So that was a pretty good time. We didn't, didn't really catch much, but... Still a good time, nonetheless. Catch anything? Not yet. All right. Oh, look at those white spots are the stars. If you've never been ice fishing, I suggest you go do that at least once. Pretty neat experience. What do you want? Huh? What are you doing? Where's Tula? Hey, Deuce. Deuce! Eh, never mind. This is making the ugliest face ever. Yeah. That's going to be the thumbnail now. Oh my god, don't do that. So, you glad I'm home? Yeah. Yeah, that's about enough of that. Yeah, you guys are goofballs. Hey quackers. Quack, quack, quack. How's it going? Hey Lucky. Deuce, you're blocking my shot. That's yeah, okay. One of the really cool things about spending the weekend fishing with uh, Van and with my nephew and my brother-in-law is getting to see them, of course. Uh, my brother-in-law and I, actually, we've known each other for quite a long time. I knew him longer than before I knew... I knew my brother-in-law long before I knew my wife as him and I as him and I were friends from school. And um, so it's always good to, to meet up with him and hang out and, and uh, talk about the old days and share what our families are doing and all sorts of fun stuff and blah, blah, blah. How the heck did you get in here? You're supposed to be with your other chicken friends. Here, you need to go over here. Come on, come on. Yep, there you go. Go on over there. Good job. I think you guys need some food. So like I said, it's always really nice to go and see Dan and talk to him. You know, about a year ago is kind of when we started looking at doing the YouTube channel. And Dan was actually one of the first people that, uh, that I talked to about it. And he was going to kind of start his own channel as well, working on small garden tractors in his shop back in South Dakota. So, you know, we had kind of a lot in common and we really didn't know where we were going to go with it. So we kind of just started to put out some content and see what happened. Um, I think his first video or one of the first videos he put out was him snowmobiling at the cabin for the ice fishing event last year. And one of the ones I put out was me plowing some snow here at home. All right, you guys want some food? Hey Deuce, you getting yourself some dinner? Looks like you guys need fresh water, don't you? Are you finding some in there? Good job, pretzel. It's pretty fun to remember back to those beginning days of YouTube, not really knowing what to expect, you know, and, you know, who's going to watch the videos? Are people going to watch the videos? And what kind of content are we going to make anyhow? You know, somehow throughout the summer last year, Sarah and I kind of found our niche and, you know, kind of get it, started getting into the garden videos and tractor videos and all sorts of stuff. And, but, you know, the early on part is kind of hard. You feel like you're making videos for nobody or for a very select few of people, mostly my mom. So, but she seems appreciative of the video, so that's good too. It's looking pretty comfy up there. 
You know, you are cute as can be, but just the way you ha you always have like this scowl on your face. You ever notice that? It's kind of like a scowl look. Yeah, but you're cute. Always keeping an eye out, aren't you, pretzel? It's actually surprising how hard it is to make YouTube videos. Way more than I thought. You know, you come up with an idea and you figure out how you're going to shoot it. And, you know, the things that you guys don't see is... You film, and then you have to move the camera, and then you have to go back and film, and then you have to go back and get the camera. So even shooting a simple scene like crossing a fence line, you basically have to film crossing the fence and then go back and get the camera. Unless, of course, I'm filming with Sarah or the kids or something like that. Then it's, you know, one person filming and the other person basically doing the actions. But... But boy, it, it is pretty fun. And, uh, you know, the comments that we've gotten over the past year and, uh, and the amount of um, appreciation and encouragement from everyone has been really, really cool. I never thought that we would be uh, where we are today. And, uh, you know, a lot of this stemmed from Dan and I kind of talk in this past week about our experience with YouTube and, and um, similarities and differences and those sorts of things. How are you guys doing? Looking fat as can be. That's good. That's good. You guys are going to taste delicious. The first person that basically told me I should start the YouTube channel is actually my buddy Jamie from work. He, uh, he was actually a pretty big fan of uh, Morgan Gold over there at Goldshaw Farm and watched all of his videos. And he started showing them to me and bugging me and saying, you know, you talk a lot about all the same sorts of stuff. You really ought to start making videos. And at first, I kind of said, no, I don't think that's my thing or, or whatever. And, you know, as time went on and, and then, you know, talking with my brother-in-law seemed like a decent idea. And I think overall, the YouTube channel has actually helped the farm quite a bit as well. It makes Sarah and I talk about plans or what we have planned and, and um, you know, where we can make improvements and different things like that. And then how we can show you guys those improvements as we go along. I know that for this next year, we... Uh, <laughs> We sure got a lot of big plans for this uh, this coming summer and garden season and everything. And it's going to be pretty fun to be able to show everyone how that works out. So anyways, I'll quit rambling and let you get on with your day. But I just wanted to say thank you. And, uh, and I hope you guys sure enjoy all the content. Uh, don't be shy in the comments. Go down there. Tell us what you think. It's, it's so nice to hear from people and, and have... Uh, you know, either words of criticism or words of encouragement. Either way, it's just so nice to hear that everybody's watching and, and enjoying it. And, uh, you know, I think we're headed for a pretty good year this year. So if this is the first time you've seen any of our content. You've watched it all the way to this point. I'm pretty impressed. And uh, what I'm going to say is why don't you go ahead and just check out this video right here and uh, see what you think about that. Thank you. Hey, you guys better turn around.